well, it's been a while since I last saw you. <laughs> it feels really weird to record videos, but I bought a cool microphone so that the quality of my videos are going to be better and better and better. And I feel so excited about that. Да, да, да. Хороший, хороший. Я потратила полезную информацию, которую я вывел. У меня просто новая волна вдохновения. It's kind of contagious to work hard and the last two months I've been working a lot. I've been at school like four, eight hours per day and with almost without any days off. And uh, But the thing is that it's very important to have a rest. And one day I just realized that I didn't listen to my body at all. Um, trying to work hard and like learn fast and I got sick because of that and normally it was like a, I don't know just a, a cold and normally it was I was uh, sniffling I had a little bit of cough and in uh, and just normally it takes like three two days to recover but this time because of like I think like my body was so exhausted and because and also because I tried to work from home because I didn't have the temperature and this was a mistake so that I should have stayed for for more than a week at home to get recovered and this is important to have a rest and I think like I kind of learned from this mistake right now right now I'm taking like recurrent breaks every week probably one two days if I need just I'm trying to to listen to myself um, and th this this really helps sometimes like I think the last week I kind of felt that I was close to the burnout so that's why I took tickets to my hometown and visited my family spent some time with them that and this helped me to be more energized to get the energy and the best of myself um, like be very productive this week at school and it's sometimes it's like a, you know a vicious circle that you think okay probably I should work I should work every day every day every day but the the outcomes that you have from like working hard without rest is worse than if you take a break and don't work at all for one two days and then like with a lot of energy you you take a lot of advantage from like your brain works better and the other interesting thought that I've had, it was from the conversation, yesterday's conversation with my friend. And she told me that I'm not searching for the, like, for the easy paths, for the easy route to, I don't know, to, to reach my goals. I'm just taking the, like, the most difficult, the most complicated path. And that was right. He gave me the analogy that, Instead of like when you learn to swim, instead of going to the swimming pool and um, learn to swim with a trainer with, in the very warm water, I'd rather go to the British Channel without knowing how to swim with a swim ring and like try to swim straight ahead in the very cold water. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but I, it it's like my nature. I 
just I like overcoming difficulties and setting new challenges to myself without knowing what to do. Приятного аппетита! Вкусно! То есть сначала вот будет вот эта команда, а потом пайп сюда отправить? Не, не, сначала. Уже время 23.00, а кто-то все еще в школе. Но я думаю, что все равно скоро пойду домой, пока последние силы на издыхании в решении алгоритмов. Точнее, в изучении алгоритма сортировки. Не знаю, как по-русски, merge sort. Короче, я показываю рецепт, как не издавала. Сначала чуть-чуть соевого соуса внутрь. Я не знаю, будет ли мне сложно. И уксуса. А потом приятного аппетита. Какого формата? Ну, задачка была... Что? Все нормально. Я снимаю твою еду. Как вы себя ощущаете, как вы себя чувствуете? <laughs> Будни студента-программиста. Чувствую себя отлично. Отлично. Женя? Да, все отлично. <laughs> Султан? Да, я не могу устал, но чувствую себя хорошо. Hello, good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Um, I'm... Oui, j'ai acheté, acheté pas les choses que tu m'as recommandées parce que... So, it's Sunday today and I feel so exhausted. You, you, you even, I don't know, you can't imagine that probably from my eyes you can guess. And yesterday I thought like I would work today. Um, I mean study programming. But after I think I had three lessons, it like three hours plus like additional work. And then I, I tracked that I sit at school around eight hours. I spent at school around eight hours and out in front of the computer. And so I came back home. I felt so exhausted, but I thought, okay, probably the good sleep would help me. But today I woke up and I was just... I was empty, I'm like even my back, like my body hurt and that I decided even to cancel uh, some lessons today and I would, I decided not to work and it's hard right now when you feel like you have this kind of result when you, when you work hard, but it's very important, like life taught me that it's very important to take breaks, to, to let your body recover. <laughs> And yeah, I just, I called my friend and said, Natalie, please help me to make this decision to cancel. 
to cancel students and then not to go to school and yeah she told Anna are you crazy you need to have a rest and yeah we agreed on um, riding bikes around Moscow probably go for a walk or something just chill relax and it's so the weather is so cool like you know it's the 11th of April but it's very rare I think like it's gonna be not that uh, warm next week but it's plus 17 right now and it's it's almost summer so I'm, I'm super excited and I'm super excited that it, today I decided to to have a rest yeah that's important and um, I'm happy that finally I listened to my body and let myself relax a little bit so I'm just uh, kind of preparing for this walk and riding the bikes around Moscow um doing makeup but i don't do like a lot of makeup it's just a cream and a little bit of powder nothing much girls <laughs> i know that there are like more percentage of uh, men who who watches my channel and so it's going to be weird, I guess, for, for you to, to see me doing makeup. But I hope this is going to be fun anyway. Это будет эпик фейл видео. 